Hey everyone, Mark here from Now You Know Videos. Today we're going to be talking about Toyota's Dynamic Radar Cruise Control System. Now if you're someone like me who lives in a big city, you almost never get a chance to use cruise control, so you kind of have a love-hate relationship with this feature on your vehicle. In fact, even living in Toronto, I have to drive at least an hour out of the city before it's even worthwhile turning it on. And even still, I find myself hitting the brake a lot, hitting the resume, uh, acceleration, cancel, back and forth. In fact, it's more stressful than if I just went to the old style of just toggling back and forth between the accelerator and the brake pedal. So once I bought this late model Toyota, I was very pleasantly surprised to find out it had dynamic radar cruise control, which means that not only can I set cruise control, but I don't have to worry about braking or canceling a lot because the vehicle actually has a couple of sensors in it. It has a camera in the front of the vehicle as well as radar sensor to determine how far ahead the vehicle is in front of you. And so it can adjust along the way. So we're gonna show you today on how that's done. Okay, to turn on the dynamic radar cruise control, we'll take a look for this button here. It's a picture of a speedometer with a car in front. So we'll press that on. And if you take a look on the dash, we have a green symbol that matches. So it looks like a speedometer with a car in front. And you'll see it says radar ready. Now what we can do is we can accelerate and then hit set once we get up to the speed that we want. And then we can activate the radar distancing. So we're gonna get a series of bars coming up. So three bars is a maximum distance between you and the vehicle ahead of you. We can switch it down to two bars. That means it, the system will allow you to get closer to the vehicle in front. And then we can set it also at one bar. So here's a quick example of driving with dynamic radar cruise control engaged. Now I have my speed set at 50 kilometers per hour and I have it set at three bars for maximum distance between me and the vehicle in front. Now that vehicle, they're not driving at 50, so I won't be driving at 50 as well. My vehicle senses that they're driving a little bit slower and they're maintaining that uh, maximum distance. If that person suddenly accelerates and they go 50 or higher, then my vehicle would go up to 50, which is what I had it set at. Also, if they decelerate a little bit quicker, besides just decelerating slowly, like lifting your you know, foot off the gas pedal, the vehicle would actually start to apply some braking, which of course would engage the brake lights in the back to let the people behind me know that I'm decelerating. So you're always in control at what speed you want to maintain. You can always increase it by hitting the plus or reduce your acceleration by hitting the minus. If you want to temporarily stop cruise control, you can just simply hit the cancel button. If you want to resume, hit the resume button and it'll go back to the previously saved speed. If you want to turn it off entirely, you'd press the radar cruise control button here. Now you'll see that we no longer have that light. Now I told you before that you could uh, activate it by pressing on the button. If you do so lightly, you'll notice you get that symbol with the speedometer and the car in front. Now I'm just going to turn it off. If you want to actually go to back to standard cruise control, in other words, not dynamic radar, you can press and hold for two seconds. Now you'll notice the symbol is just a speedometer. That's regular, typical cruise control that you're probably already used to. So some people ask me, how does the physical distance differ between three bars, two bars, or one bar? Does it come down to vehicle lengths? like three vehicle lengths, two vehicle lengths, etc. Well, the short answer is yes and no. You see, the dynamic and dynamic radar cruise control means that these variables are always going to be changing. So a three bar distance while on a city street might actually mean three car lengths difference. On a major highway, when you're driving at top speed, it may increase to as much as 10 car lengths. Just remember, you can always set vehicle spacing to your own comfort level, but be mindful at all times. Well, I hope you found today's video helpful. And remember, you being the operator of the vehicle, you're always in control. Even though you have these you know, artificial intelligence type devices activated on your vehicle, you can always accelerate, brake, or steer as necessary. You're always the one who's in control. You always have to keep safety in mind. Don't rely on the vehicle to do it for you. It's nice to have these added features, but you know, you're the ones with the hands on the wheel. You're the driver, you're the boss. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.